this short video tutorial, my aim is to show you with a few easy to follow steps how to get to grips with the pen tool in Photoshop. This is particularly useful when you want to isolate the subject or object from an image and put it on a different background. If you have struggled with the pen tool before now, or just simply been put off by it, then stay tuned. The pen tool doesn't have that love at first sight appeal. The simple reason is that it isn't just a one click and hey presto technique. The pen tool does take a while to master. It does require some practice and a bit of patience. I hope that this video will give you the confidence to give the pen tool a go and if you stick with it, you will get the hang of it. Let's begin. I have Photoshop open here with a blank canvas. Okay, so first off, where is the pen tool? You'll find the pen tool in the tools palette grouped in with the shape tools, the type tool, the path and direction selection tools. The keyboard shortcut for the pen tool is P and the keyboard shortcut for the direct selection tool is A. So with the pen tool selected, I can hold down the command key on a Mac or a control key on a PC to switch the pen tool to the direct selection tool like so. Make sure that path is selected up in the options bar. Now by clicking anywhere on the canvas, I'll create my first point or anchor point as it's called. I'm going to add another point here and notice that a straight line appears between the two points. I'll add two more anchor points to create roughly a square shape. You'll see a small zero appear beside the pen tool when I reach the very first anchor point. This means that the outline shape is now a closed path. That is what basically the pen tool does. It creates a path or outline around your selection using anchor points. From this path, we can now make a selection. I can just right click and go to make selection. Okay, so let's test this out on an image. I'm going to create a path around the red part of this stop sign. I'm just going to click and place an anchor point at each of the corners. Notice again when I arrive at the first anchor point, the small zero appears to the right of the pen tool to create a closed path. Right click and make a selection. You'll see the marching ants. Go down to the bottom of the layers panel and click on the add layer mask icon. So now the selection has been made. Okay, that was the easy part. The real power of the pen tool is to create a path around curved lines as well as straight ones. Back to the blank canvas. Click anywhere, but before I release the mouse, drag out to the sides. You'll see two handles stretch out in opposite directions. These are called directional handles. Now I'll add another anchor point using the click and drag action as above. If I hold down the command key, the pen tool now becomes the direct path selection tool, the white arrow. I can now move any of the directional handles to determine the curve shape like so. Let's go back to the image of the stop sign. I'm now going to create a path around the outer edge, which has a curve at each corner. So far, so good. Right, I now want to create a straight line for the next segment. However, when I hold down the command key to adjust the directional handles, I keep having to adjust this handle and then this one to try and get a perfect straight line with no curve. The handles are now annoying and are in the way. Let's turn off the visibility for this image so that you can see what I mean. If I adjust this handle to straighten this segment, my initial curve has been adjusted because I moved this handle. And back and forth we go. Okay, I'm just going to delete this and start again, but this time it'll be slightly different. Click and drag to create the first anchor point. Hold down the Option key on a Mac or Alt key on a PC. Hover over the anchor point until you see the inverted V shape beside the pen tool. This is the Convert Point tool. Hold down the Option key and click on the anchor point to delete one of the handles. Make sure you don't keep holding down the option key when you position the next anchor point. 
I'm going to place another anchor point here for the straight line. Hold down the option key and delete one of the directional handles. I can now continue as before around the selection, making sure to hold down the option key and delete one directional handle at every anchor point. Alternating between the command key to easily access the direct selection tool to modify the curves as you go along. Alternatively, you can leave this until the end when you have set down all the anchor points and created a path. This for me was the turning point in getting to grips with the pen tool and actually liking it. Right, click and select Make Selection. Go down to the bottom of the Layers panel and click on the Add Layer Mask icon. And here is this selection isolated against the background. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and that you found it useful.